Emily here with another episode of A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care. I am here with Megan Jackson. She is a office manager at one of our outpatient facilities. And Megan, you are in um, recovery and your addiction actually started back when you were a teenager in high school. Kind of tell me about that. Yes, it started when I was like 18. I had started um, smoking marijuana just at some bonfires with some friends. Um, and then, of course, it spiraled a little bit further into pills. Um, and then I ended up, you know, getting onto harder drugs once, you know, I found out that those were a thing. Yeah. And then it just continued to get worse. And you became a mother yep. during that time? Um, I became a mother, like, straight out of high school. So, like, you know, my, my older child had to go through the repercussions of my addiction because it did start so soon. And what was that like for you? I mean, being a mom, maybe not really being a mom to your kids, you know, through that time. Um, that was really hard for me because, you know, like I was already a teen mom, you know, I had him when I was 18. So just, and then going straight into addiction, it was very hard because like you want to be a mom, but your addiction doesn't allow you to be a mom, so. Yeah, so how did you find recovery? Um, so I had a lot of support, um, you know, in my family and they would always like want me to do better and I would, I would do better and then I would just fall back because, you know, I, I had caught some charges and I had got put in drug court and I walked, you know, the drug court out for two years and then it, I didn't work a program though. That's where I messed up is I didn't work a program. Um, but then once I relapsed after that and then I found a program and actually started working one and that's why I'm here today. That is amazing and now you're working yep. with those in the spot that you once once were. What's that like for you being able to work with people? So like that was whenever I was incarcerated I had you know how everyone has those prayers when you're in a jail cell like you know God if you'll just let me out of here just this one last time I'll do right. Well whenever I was there the last time that was my prayer and I meant that like I knew when I came out that I wanted to help someone and that was my goal from the time I hit treatment till I got out of treatment that I wanted to help people and I enjoy helping people. I love seeing the light come on in people's eyes because I know what it was like for me to be in that dark spot. Well thank you Megan and all the work that you're doing you're truly making an impact on so many people's lives. But we'll see you next time on another episode of A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care.